What is up guys, welcome back to another video and today it's all about editing software. If you know me and you have been following my channel, you know that for the past couple of years I've been experimenting, checking out different types of software and I'm especially intrigued by some of the newer products that have been released in the past couple of years because of one major thing and that is AI. As a person who spends a lot of time editing, I'm always interested to check out different products and services which can facilitate my workflow. That's the reason why today we're checking out Filmora 14. Wondershare is sponsoring today's video and the curious thing is that four years ago I checked out Filmora 9, so I'm really curious to see after all these years, how much the software has developed, what new features, what new improvements we can see in Filmora 14. So let's get right into it. So here we have the main screen of Filmora 14. From here, we have a lot of different options that we can go for. We can obviously start a new project, which you can see here with this huge button, and we can choose the aspect ratio of our project with a few more options here from this drop down menu. But I want to focus on this toolbox option first, because here is where you can see most of the new changes coming to Filmora 14. So when I press on the toolbox, you will see all of the different new features that we have here in the software. And as you can see, most of them, maybe 90% of them have this little AI tag in the top right corner. We'll focus on a few of them because they are quite interesting. So let's quickly start a new project and I'll import some footage to show you some of the features that you can use. So here I have some drone footage that I imported to the project. And now what we can do is use AI to generate some background music for it. So if we see this button here, we can press it. And now software is analyzing the video content and is generating some background music that will work well with this specific footage. So let's check it out. We'll wait until it's done and I'll show you the results. Now the background music generation is complete. We have an audio track here, which we can go and check out. I think it's pretty good. And what we can do here is go to the audio tab if we want, we can create more AI music or generate more AI music depending on our mood, theme or genre, or we can go to AI sound effects and generate a sound effect by just describing what we need. So for example, I've already played with it and we have a whoosh uh, sound effect, which is something that we use a lot in the drone videos and we, Every single time you want to generate a sound effect, you get three different options. So it's up to you to pick one. So just by typing whoosh, I get three different sound effects that I can choose from. And of course, if I'm not happy with that, I can describe what I need exactly in, in this query here, and then I will get exactly that, which is a huge time saver. If you want to get a specific sound effect and you don't know where to look for it. Since those videos are not graded, what we can do here is go select the video, go to the video tab. We can press on auto enhance, and that will automatically enhance the footage a little bit by applying some contrast and some saturation. But if we want to dig a little bit deeper, we can go to the color tab. We can add a LUT. We have a lot of built-in LUTs that we can choose from. And of course we can um, decide what type of intensity we like. So let's say I like this one, the d 709 style. Uh, and we will just lower the, the strength to maybe 75%. And we already have a huge difference between what we had initially and what we are uh, getting here with this LUT applied to our footage. And of course, just like any other editing software, you have a lot of different options for tweaking your image in terms of the white balance, the tint, the vibrance, saturations, exposure, contrast, highlights, shadow, of course, all of these things that usually you can find in color grading software. But here, the cool thing is that you have keyframes. So you can set a keyframe for the exposure to, to become a little bit higher or a little bit lower. For example, if we want to change the exposure here and set it to something a little bit more negative, and we want to start from something a little bit uh, higher, we can add a keyframe 
and then of course I'm uh, uh, I'm purposely making this very very dramatic but now with the keyframe you see the exposure is changing uh, and this is extremely cool if you are editing footage that goes from dark to to bright and you want to be able to to very very carefully grade it in a way that saves the details uh, from becoming too bright or too dark you can set those keyframes and play with that and really adjust your footage to your liking the next thing which I want to show you in Filmora 14 is how to easily generate subtitles from your existing videos. This is extremely common nowadays when posting TikToks and Shorts and Reels. And if you want to quickly take advantage of creating automatic subtitles, this is the feature. So you simply need to put your video on your timeline and then go to speech to text. So when we press it, we have a few options here. We can auto detect the language, which I will do. I don't, I don't want to tell the software that I'm speaking English. I will let it uh, figure that out by itself. We can translate this speech that the software detects, but for now we will not translate it. We'll keep it to English. The clip selection or the entire timeline, if we have more footage, we can apply that. But since we only have one clip and the output format could be SRT, so for subtitles or titles that we can add to the video itself and we can press generate and see what happens that's it we now see our titles here on the timeline and let's press play and see if they are correct let's fly all of these three bad boys together it's already scary <laughs> look at this okay this is perfect okay the new this is perfect and of course from here we can change the title add some presets for the text of course change the the size the color everything uh, and it's really really easy and intuitive you can do it in just a matter of seconds next i'm going to show you a feature that i'm a big fan of especially when i'm posting reels on my instagram and that is auto reframe so let's press on that let's import our footage that we want to use i have it right here and now if we go to a section of the video where we want to to use this i think it's about somewhere around here now we can select the aspect ratio of our video that we want to have for example 9 by 16 for instagram we'll let it analyze and now if we go and press adjust frame we can select our object that we want to keep in the frame at all times and we can see in real life how the footage is being worked on how the software is applying our frame detection to adjust according to the object so you can see it's always in the middle now that's done it's already out of frame because i'm going to land and we can press export and now our footage will be exported with the 9 by 16 aspect ratio while keeping the object in the middle of the frame as you can see, this is just a small glimpse of everything that Wondershare Filmora 14 can do for you. You have so many different options, so many different features that you can take advantage of and just save yourself a bunch of time when editing and even get to some amazing results with the help of AI. And there you guys have it. This is Filmora 14, a beginner friendly software that is easy to get into, packs a ton of features and also has a lot of AI that can not only entertain you and make your life easier, but also save you a bunch of time. With that being said, this is everything I have for you today. Let me know if you have enjoyed this video by clicking on the like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. This is Mike from Drone Supremacy. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one very, very soon. Ciao.